flew on the broom. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the winds. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then, out of the bushes, on thundering poles, they bounded the dog with the hat in his shoes. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I'm a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wrapped his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held onto her hat, but away blew, blew the bowl from her long ginger plait. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bowl, but no bowl could be found. Then, out from a tree with her ear splittering shriek, there flapped a queen bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her hat in the bow, I'm a bird, as green as can be. Is the room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on, the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the reed and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked the clee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of the wands. Down cried the witch. They flew to the ground. They searched for the wands, but no wands could be found. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a tripping wet frog with a tripping wet wand. He trotted it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak, I'm a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and over the, over the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch half half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar and that was scary and loud. I'm a dragon, as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing up fire. Help, cried the witch, flying to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips, said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. 
it had four frightful heads and its wing and wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It tripped and it squelched as, as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon flew a tree back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and off he was through the sky. Then down, down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I would be in the dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw, they threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell, ikiti sikiti sagiti soon. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the, for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch. And then they all clambered on. The witch taps the broomstick and whoosh, whoosh, they were gone. The end.